see crocodiles. It really hurts. It really hurts. Oh, crocodile, don't bite me. No, no, crocodile, no, no, no. Don't come in. Oh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Show and Mel with Dr. Smell. I mean, show and tell with Dr. Mel. I'm Dr. Mel. I was having a bad dream. No wonder. I have all these clips on my fingers. This really hurts. Hmm. I put clips on my fingers when I'm trying to remember something that I've forgotten. But usually I forget to remember what I've forgotten to remember. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Biting, I know. <laughs> the show today is about crocodiles and alligators. That's because I have a letter from Naomi. Naomi lives in Niagara Falls on the border between... Canada and the United States and she wants to know who is stronger an alligator or a crocodile so today for the first time in television history gring, gring, gonna... gring, gring. I think I have a phone call. hello show and tell with Dr. Mel Dr. Mel speaking oh hi Sam it's Sam my producer Sam you always phone me when I'm on the air ah no crocodile today no alligator what they ate one another <laughs> better than eating me. <laughs> well, okay, Sam, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, no alligators on our show today and no crocodiles. <laughs> but we have another letter. <laughs> our letter today comes from Hideo. Hideo is from the Egata. That's in Japan. Hmm. Let's say something to Hideo in Japanese. Hajimimashite! <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it's Japanese. What Hideo wants to know is all about bacteria. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> On our show today, for the very first time in television history, we have the world's most gigantic bacteria. They are called the giant microbes. They speak. Oh, Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> Tom is the spokes germ. <laughs> they want to say hello to all the children. They've written a song about bacteria. Let's sing along with Tom, Dick, and Harry. Bacteria are living things small as can be. They live everywhere, up a tree, in the water, in the air, everywhere you choose to stare, on the ground and all around and all the way from up to down. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, I thought bacteria were so small that you can't even see them. He says that he's a toy. What, you guys are toys? You're not real bacteria? Get off my show! <laughs> we want to talk about real bacteria today. <laughs> We're going to put on some laboratory gloves and we are going to see together some real bacteria. Because bacteria are so small that we cannot see them with the naked eye. <laughs> we have to look at them in a microscope. <laughs> I'm wearing my bacteria tie today and we can see these are individual bacteria. But they are in a microscope which makes tiny things look big. Uh, bacteria are tiny, but they grow together. And when many of them grow together, we can see them. Because in this colony of bacteria here, there are millions, maybe billions of bacteria living together side by side by side by side. And we can see the colony. That's because there's so many of them together. <laughs> doesn't smell very well. Bacteria live everywhere. Bacteria live on our skin, up our nose, even in between our toes. And most bacteria are fine. They don't cause any trouble. Actually, some of them are actually very good. They help make yogurt and pickles. And the bacteria in our mouths can cause problems. For example, they can make holes or cavities in our teeth. That's why it's so important to brush. They also make bad smells. So if you smell somebody with bad breath, that's probably because of bacteria in their mouths. Wow. Well, it's important not only to brush our teeth, but it's important also to wash our hands. Okay? When we meet someone, when we greet someone, or when we eat something. That's so we don't have very many bacteria on our hands that we can transfer. But it's important to remember that most bacteria are good and friendly. So, I hope you've enjoyed my show. Show and tell with Dr. Mel. We didn't have crocodiles and alligators, but we had billions and millions of bacteria. <laughs> bacteria galore. <laughs> Bye.